بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأقربنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل My short talking today is about meningioma Meningioma is a common extra axial tumor arising from the meninges and occur also in the brain as well as in the spine. And it is common in women than men, and it is account about uh, 20% of all brain tumor. And it is result in seizure and focal in neurological signs, depending on location. Meningioma also has calcification in about 25% and also cause hyperostosis of the bone to the adjacent bone and vasogenic edema in about 60% of cases. We have three types of meningioma, the typical meningioma, it is a grade one, and it is account about 85% to 90, 92% of the region. And this include meningothelial, fibroblastic, transitional, somomatous, and angiomatous, and microcytic, and secretory, also clear cell chondroid meningioma. A typical one, it is a grade 2, it is intermediate hypercellularity with mitotic activity and it is around 5 to 7 percent of region and the malignant one, it is a grade 3, has necrosis and abundant mitosis and bronchial invasion, and it is account about one to two percent of meningiomas. Here are some location of the meningiomas, as we see in factory, uh, it is sinoid wing, and here this is cover the sinus formin magnum, etc., and some of the uh, common location of meningioma include uh, parasagittal, tentorial convexity, subfrontal, CB angle meningioma, sphenoid ring, uh, formin magnum, and optic nerve. Here, this is the CT scan of meningioma, as we see, it is hyper-dense in about 75% uh, and 25% uh, shows calcification, as we see here, dot of calcification, and we see here hyperostosis of the bone in this frontal uh, region meningioma. And here, this is the, some edematous changes of meningioma and homogeneous enhancement of the meningioma after contrast. Here, this is uh, the typical meningioma. As we said, it is hyper dense in uh, non-contrast study, study, 
and another patient with uh, multiple here multiple patient with meningioma high bulb density here and associated with very tumoral edema and uh, here another patient with hemorrhage and we cannot see the uh, parent meningioma in this patient and here we have necrosis in this patient and this patient has calcification in this patient and densities indicating cystic uh, changes in this patient. Here we have um, meningioma has uh, typical uh, distinct shape uh, as we see here it is a globoid here it is lobulated in meningioma and uh, here we see meningioma looks like finger like protrusion or lobulation and it is uh, this called mushroom like and here we have the end black meningioma here the MRI patient it is in the T1, it is hypointense, and this is after contrast, and we see homogeneous enhancement of the meningioma after contrast, and we see enhancement of the DOIG since the meningioma, and it is in broad base and with a dual tail uh, sign. Here another patient with meningioma. It is in the parasagittal, uh, dual based uh, extraaxial meningioma with edema. Let us see some signs of uh, meningioma. Here this patient has uh, meningioma, and we see here the white matter buckling sign and this is helpful sign to differentiate between extraaxial and the intraaxial lesion and we see the white matter it is projecting into gyri as we see here and displaced by the tumor in the even in the presence of edema Here another another patient with a patient with the buckling sign of the white matter as we see here and the white matter seen uh, around the and it is projecting through the uh, through the gay eye. Another patient with buckling white matter as we see here and some of the visits around the tumor here we have the csf cleft sign and it is used uh, this is csf around the uh, around the meningioma and it is used to d distinguish extraaxial from uh, intraaxial lesion Here another patient with the CSF cleft sign. This is the CSF surrounding the tumor, and here we see the blood vessels and uh, supplying the meningioma. Here we see another patient with CSF cleft sign around the tumor and this meningioma. Here we have the a buckling uh, of the white matter adjacent the tumor and we have the CSF uh, cleft sign. Here is another meningioma with uh, 
sun burst sign and also the dual enhancement sign dual tail sign here this is another patient with the dual tail sign another patient with the dual tail sign here it is enhancement of the dual another patient with the dual tail sign and it is found in most of the meningioma but it is not specific here another sign we call it uh, a spoke wheel sign of the meningioma it is seen on the contrast study and T2 and it is also seen in the angiogram as we see here and this is the this sign co correspond to multiple small vessels immediately distributed from a dominant uh, vessel dominant feeding vessel as we see in this patient and here we see dominant uh, vessel with nt2 weighted images our image in this meningioma with multiple small vessels uh, radially distributed another patient with the spoke wheel sign as we see here small vessels distributed uh, and the and this T2 and this contrast study and this is the sun bear sign and this is the uh, characteristic vascular supply of the meningioma from the tangential to the dual attachment and it is the, the same result of phenomenon of the spoke wheel sign here is another sign of a meningioma we call it a um, mother in law sign and we see the the persistent uh, tumor blush in the late venous vis and these are the venous drainage of the tumor here this is another patient with meningioma with mother in law sign and we see the demonstrate of the persistent blush in the venous phase, late venous phase uh, in this olfactory meningioma. And this is another, another patient with meningioma with sunburst uh, uh, sign. Here, this is a special type of meningioma. This is intraosseous meningioma with expansile of the parietal bone and extended to the epidural space, as we see here with some enhancement. Another patient with intraosseous meningioma in the frontal bone with the thickening of the adjacent scalp and meninges. Uh, MRI spectroscope meningioma shows uh, alanine as we see here. This alanine it is elevated with uh, a triple beaks as we see here correspond to aniline and it is almost uh, this is uh, sig uh, significant and highly suggestive of meningioma thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk